Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope everybody's had an awesome Christmas. Uh, I was able to get me a 3D printer for Christmas and so I'm very happy. Uh, I've been 3D printing like crazy. Joined all the channels on social media so I'm learning as I go and it's, it's really fun so far. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a video on basically alerting. Um, we're going to use um, um, Wazoo and then send alerts to Slack. And if you put the, phone, the app on your phone, you can also get alerts on your phone. This is awesome. Uh, depending on how you look at it really so uh, you see these different alerts right here on my screen if you have it on level three alerts you're, you're not gonna I mean you're just gonna get thousands and thousands of alerts because whatever shows up as level three which is your all your basic stuff that your systems do um, you know including log on log off uh, you know success or failures you know services launching whatever whatever you want to call it so you probably wouldn't want to have it on level three. You know, generally I keep it on level twelve or higher because those are important alerts, super important alerts. Oh, excuse me, my nose is itching this morning uh, tonight. But anyway, so what we're going, what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to get those alerts from Wazoo to Slack. And so here's your regular terminal or your your web GUI like we normally talk about. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the terminal. All right, so this is my IP address, and I'm going to hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and log in really quick. Make sure I can remember this password. Bam. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is, well, I'll go ahead and maximize this guy. And then I might have already sent the command. Yep. So you're going to go to nanovar osec etsy osec .conf. And this is basically your, your Wazoo configuration file. And then right here uh, is your alerts and so this is the minimum level of alert that you're uh, that you get in your web GUI so that's fine and then if you want to I, I just turned this to JSON this is your log format um, and you know JSON I like JSON better so that's that's the way I said it uh, and so what you're gonna do is let me go back to my desktop really quick and I'm gonna pull that slack integration so here's your slack integration that you're gonna throw in there I'm just going highlight it and copy it and then find me a good spot I usually put it right in front of the global and then right click and then enter alright so right here you have the integration piece and then um, I, I've had issues with changing the name so I just leave it at slack it shouldn't be a problem so I'm going to go ahead and format this a little bit better okay and then also, don't forget to add. So here's an, a little piece that uh, isn't really shown. I'm going to go ahead and add level in there as well. All right, and I'm going to I'm gonna put this at level three just to show you all the test. And then y'all can set it to wherever you want to. All right, and then last but not least, we have to go get an API code. So, and I'm going to backspace this guy just to clean it up a little bit. Oh, wrong button. Cancel. All right, so what you're going to do from here is uh, open up your web browser, which is back to your Wazoo. And then right here, I have my uh, Slack API and I have my general lab. So I went up here and I made a labs um, channel. And then I'm going to show you how to get the alerts here. So you go to api.slack.com for such apps. And then you, you're going to hit create an app. And then I'm just going to name this Lab Security Alerts. And then I'm going to hit Labs right there. And then hit Create App. I love how easy this is to do. Uh, so from there you hit Incoming Webhooks. And then that's spinning. It'll take a second and it'll let me turn it on. There we go. So turn it on. And then hit Add New uh, Webhook to Workspace. And then go down to labs, and you can pick whichever one you want to. I'm just going to hit labs, which is fine. Then hit allow, and then bam, you have your webhook. So right here, you're going to hit copy on this, and it'll say success if it was successful. And I'm going to go back to my terminal. And I'm going to right click, and it's going to paste that code in there. So once you do this, you're going to hit, if you're using Nano, you're going to hit Control O and then Control X to write it and exit. If you're using V, just you know, do, do your normal commands to get to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and write it and then exit out. And I'm going to hit Syst, uh, System CTL and I'm going to restart the Wazoo Manager and the Wazoo API.
And that's going to take just a second to restart. And then here in a minute, we should see Lurch Starf coming in. All right, there we go. So now we come over here to our channel general and then bam, click on that. And see now we already have logs coming in. So like I said, if you leave it on level three, you're going to get all of this stuff and it's not going to stop. You see how fast messages are coming in. That's because you're getting every, every, um, well, every log, excuse me, every log from level three to level, you know, 12 or higher or whatever. And so keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here and, and keep in mind this is coming from all of these guys so i'm going to show you that really quick go down to wazoo and agents so these four guys right here anything that any alerts that are going to wazoo are being forwarded basically to, to slack so keep that in mind um, so what i'm going to do in here is go back to this guy and i'm going to go back into the configuration file and i'm going to turn this up to level 12. You're still going to get alerts, especially if you have vulnerabilities, because, you know, um, the built-in vulnerability scanner runs like every six hours or something like that. You can customize it. So what I generally do is I run it about every 12 hours. That's still a little eh, but hey, I want to make sure I get all the vulnerabilities resolved because I preach, preach, preach security. And so the number one thing you need to do is what? Make sure you're secure. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hit level 12. Exit out of that. Restart this again. You can tell I've done this a few times, just you know, tapping away. I'm gonna go back to my uh, labs up here. I see it's already 24 minutes. And see that if you let this run, it will be thousands, thousands, thousands. So just uh, if you have, um, I'm not sure. I can't remember the memberships of Slack, but basically, uh, if you get so many, you know, messages in Slack and you don't have membership, you end up um, not being able to see much, or you can't see the history, or something like that. Anyway, I, I do have a membership, so I'm able to keep track of all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and skip down. I'm going to hit the end button. And it's going to take me down here. So this is my last level 3 message. So from here on out, if I get a level a level 12 or higher message from uh, from you know any of my systems on my lab network, then it will send that message here, and it will also send it to my phone. And my phone's not around me right now, but yes, they're, they're on there. If you, if you check your uh, Slack app, same thing. Same thing as the web GUI. But anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to show you this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, it's awesome to have so many people out there that are, you know, subscribing to my channel and, and getting educated on this stuff because I, I enjoy teaching other people about IT, IT security, cybersecurity. It's, it's great. It's fun. I enjoy it. So, guys, if you like this video, please like it, share it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, you'll have a good night. Thank you.